showing off my beautiful surroundings again. That's the balcony, the view from the place where I'm staying in the School of Temple Art. I'm not sure whether you can see me very well or not, but the main thing is you can see me. Mountain rocks. Alright, yesterday was a beautiful, 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 beautiful day. I, um, first full day of the shamanic breathing workshop. Again, no breathing. The whole point of the day was just to activate and stir some things up and talk about different family dynamics and the roles we take on and yeah a couple of interesting revelations and um, a couple of things I've resolved to resolve this week although they did say in the very end that whatever we think the thing is, or the pattern is, or the, the issue is that we want to resolve during the breathing itself it might just turn out to be completely different. So it'll be interesting to see. I went on a hike after lunch, after the hike of a lifetime that I had did a few days ago where we were scaling vertical. It's just like a vertical hike. There's no other way to call it. Vertical hike up and then vertical hike down. And vertical hike along the face of the cliff. <laughs> so after being introduced to that kind of hiking and going, whoa, you know, the whole planet is all of a sudden your playground. You don't even need any trails. At the workshop sanctuary retreat, where we were during lunchtime, I saw a mountain and I thought to myself, hmm, the view from that mountain must be nice. I wouldn't call it a mountain, all right, a hill, but still. And um, off I went, scaled up a hill, meditated on the top, then um, shot a little panorama, which you should be able to see in the previous post, and ran down the hill. Not so much ran, but I was getting late for after lunch gathering. Then the day progressed well. I got myself a wonderful partner for the breathing exercises tomorrow. So we're going to be breathing in pairs. One person breathing, one person looking after them and holding space. On the way back we had an amazing, amazing talk about you know, various communities and Ayahuasca and just, yeah, nice to find kindred spirits. And talked about addictions, how we as human beings are probably wired for addictions and all we can hope to do is just upgrade lower level, level addictions for higher level ones. And um, my breathing partner said that his particular addiction is a connection with people and how he can make these connections with people and you just see right inside of the person, let them see right inside of you, and how it's just beautiful. And then you meet one person like that, and another, and then another, and then another, and then before you know it, you realize you're just living in paradise. You're just making these connections with people everywhere we go. And it was a beautiful experience to make this connection, and um, to really get a sense of like, wow. That is something to get addicted to. That is something really beautiful. So I'd be definitely looking forward to cultivating more of that attitude and openness in my life. It's beautiful. And just as I resolved, right, I want to keep meeting wonderful people, make wonderful connections. Um, the, the teacher that ran the shamanic apprenticeship course for a month here it was his small going away get together that he's leading today. And another teaching tour. I got to meet some wonderful people there as well. And see my, what I would call by now friends. And just relax and spend some time together. And I don't know, I was just, by the end of the day, I was just swimming in the sea of. Just amazing good feeling like oh my god my life is filled with amazing people and 
I keep attracting imaginary people and it's just I see what I see what it means. It's like it just feels like the best drug in the world. Just like relaxing into this <sighs> people are amazing and I'm amazing and we're just creating amazing things together. So that was towards the end of the day. Soaked in the pool for a bit more. We go in the pool under the stars. It's always nice. And what else? Oh, and on the way back from the party, I had a, an idea, an urge, if you will, to just lay down and look up in the stars, which I did. I lay down on the side of the road and looked up in the star. I looked up at the stars for about 15 minutes, and it was beautiful. Beautiful day, beautiful ending of the day, and looking forward to another beautiful day today. Actually, breathing in like one or two hours. I'm gonna finish my porridge so it doesn't distract too much from my breathing. There is chocolate on the present porridge. And I'll connect with you either later today. I'm hoping to feel my altered consciousness state after I come out of my breathing process. And if not, then tomorrow morning. Bye.